So friends, I have a real treat for you this morning. I'm going to show you this hash-based vanilla JavaScript router. So you can see here we are on the root path. And if we click 2, like that, we're going to see hash 2 and the content changes from 2 from the previous one. So also, you can see here, if we go to hash, it goes to content 1. Now the actual DOM structure for this, actually I have to show you in Firefox because for some reason the way I'm importing the components dynamically, it uh, breaks the element inspector. So if we look at the inspector here, when we first load the page, we can see that we have this router and we have this two, this elements here. And when we basically change route, we change the one to display none and then display initial. Now the way we set up the pages is that we both have um, display none in the route. We're storing some state in the actual DOM. It's absolutely crystal clear to the users. And this is basically how the code works. So. So the router component here is actually loaded dynamically from this app.js import here, which finds the router path. And then we have this default initialization function, which has a closure for the routes like that. We have an event listener for hash change. We have a function called find hash URL root, which will find the current route that matches the path. And then we have this function called display matching route, which is mapped to the hash change function. So what we do, we actually find an active route if it exists. And then we disable the uh, visibility and make it display none. And then we also then find the new active route and we do display to display initial. That's basically all there is to it. So let's just display some of the logic running real time. Okay, so we're going here, click refresh. You can see here that we have the routes are found like this. You can see an in inspector that both the routes are display none. And then we then display matching route and put a function in here. So we find the URL hash route in the moment because uh, we, there is a hash there, it will find that URL. Um, if there isn't a URL, we just assign it to empty path so it will match up with the data path equals uh, empty string like that. So then what it does here is, it is if it looks for an active route, if it's not an active route, then it will actually skip some of the logic. So let's just change, the, change this here. So here, here we can see we have an active route. And so what we do is we just disable it. So that's, display, that's active equals false. So can here you see here that it's currently active equals true. And we just click next line it will then say uh, data active equals, okay, actually it should say data set active route, data set dot active equals false. Uh, it's not updated quite yet there. Um, let's just check to see what happens after it runs fully. The content displayed correctly, but I think the, the DOM updated a bit later. So we can see data active equals false there. And that is kind of also, it's nice to have that to show that the route's actually been visited. And we could actually remove that attribute here, but um, I think it's just in a sense nice to show that it's been visited and be visited by, in a sense, already being shown as active false. So that's basically uh, vanilla JavaScript routing with a hash. Uh, what I'll want to also do is uh, if this, you know, loads some HTML template, we want to be able to load all the components dynamically for that template like it's doing here. And we'll think about how to do that in future videos. Thanks very much.